Hello everyone, Dr. Brian Scott with you. Very excited to be sharing with you about these Insight to the End Days. We're really focused right at the present time on 2 Timothy chapter 3, where Paul is warning us of perilous times in the last days. And then he lays out about 25 different signs that will show us where we are on God's timetable. And we're getting really close to the very end. If you haven't been with us since the beginning, I would encourage you to go to our website, Victory Christian Center. That's spelled C-E-N-T-R-E dot C-A. And under the media tab, you'll find all of these podcasts shown and listed. We talked about end time affairs. We talked about the war referred to in Ezekiel 38, which we call World War III. It's the invasion of Israel by about 10 countries, including uh, Russia. We talked about the rapture of the church. Some people have commented to us in, in response that they don't quite understand that. Well, pay attention to our podcast and what we've shared, and we'll be sharing more on that. But today I want to continue with point number 10, or sign number 10 in 2 Timothy 3. It's truce breakers, covenant breakers, or unforgiving people. I want to talk about divorce with you for just a minute because it's such a serious problem across North America. And the children especially pay a high, high price or a huge price for a divorce in their family, social, socially, psychologically, uh, in their schooling and so on. It's pretty hard on them. And it's, it's hard on the, ki on the spouses, on the two parties. Uh, let me give you some statistics. These may be a couple years old, but they'll give you a, a fair idea of what's going on with the kids in a, in a, in a divorced home versus a married home. 31% um, of, of the kids in a divorced home are likely to drop out of high school, 31% versus 13% of a married home. Uh, that's, a, that's like at least triple, double I should say, uh, the uh, number in a married home is a, is a high percentage. Here's a second per, uh, stat. 33% um, of teen girls will become pregnant outside of marriage from a divorced home versus only 11% of uh, teenage girls in a married home. So that's three times. That's quite an increase. And then another stat or statistic is 11% uh, of males under 32 years of age will go to prison from a divorced home versus only 5% from a married home. So these are pretty heavy duty stats. There's a big toll that kids play uh, when there's a divorce in the home. Here's some more statistics uh, from around um, uh, the last decade, over the last decade. If we were to have our marriage homes return to 1960 levels, uh, where things were a lot more consistent and, and static, we would have fewer 750,000 fewer kids repeating their grades in school. Seven, three quarters of a million fewer kids would have to repeat grades. We would have fewer, we would have 1.2 million fewer school suspensions. We would have 500,000 fewer um, situations of teenage delinquency. We'd even have 70,000 fewer cases of attempted suicide. These statistics are provided in uh, several uh, uh, manuals that have been researched and studied. The point I'm getting at is divorce takes a heavy toll on the families. These are truce breakers. And uh, we see a lot of Christian couples getting divorced as well. So around 34%. And that's about the same statistic as in the uh, non-Christian homes. And with Christians, uh, I think it's around 23% of them will be divorced two or three times. So folks, truce breakers is a major problem. Uh, unforgiving is a major problem. Irreconcilable differences is the cause of all of these problems. We should learn to get over ourselves. But these are signs of the end times. They're very serious signs. I think you can relate to them. I'll see you tomorrow. Call you blessed. Amen.